welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about and you want to be updated to all the content we're producing here in our cryptocurrency markets, please head over to YouTube, head over to the FX, FX Street channel and hit the subscribe button. You can follow Akash and I individually on Twitter. Uh, you can follow Akash at Mangyeko0 and myself at Just Analysis one Taking a look here at uh, Ripple. Oh, maybe I'll help if I pull the chart up. But Ripple... Um, is definitely in kind of a make or break state here. It's been in this extended bear flag for a while and it's really, really struggling to hold on to the 109 level. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, not COVID, just drying my office. So 109 is the 2021 volume point of control. Um, and it also lines up perfectly with where the daily uh, the bottom of the daily cloud is at it's where Senko span a is at Th this is a very very touchy zone it's also the bottom of the channel i mean ripple is in a very very dangerous level as far as uh you know if you're if you're a bear you're looking at this and salivating if you're bull you are uh praying that you don't see big red in your account so the key level to watch here for ripple uh, ultimately, is not it's not the between one dollar and one hundred five because we're looking at a bear flag. We have to look at how that structure is traded, and it's traded when there's a close below the second to last um, uh, swing here. So, any close at ninety nine or below will likely trigger some pretty fast selling pressure, uh, especially below eighty three eighty three or eighty four cents. It's a pretty wide open drop to that 65 cent range. Uh, the, I mean, the daily chart shows a little mm, that, that, that there may not be a ton of downside potential oscillator wise. However, it just it <laughs> it's not promising here, especially where you have these these lows being established right up against these. Uh, against the uh, bottom of the bear flag it just looks a little weak and on the weekly chart yeah the weekly chart really doesn't show a lot of support either and it, it's really struggling to hold Senko span b on the on the weekly chart there could be a, a really ugly move south if it can't hold support so anything below 99 is a big old drop the only way that this is invalidated is if ripple moves back up and gets to that 129 level Otherwise, it just looks really ugly here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you see, Akash. Yeah, I have three charts to explain XRP because I've drawn different narratives in every chart. So yeah, uh, so on, on a daily time frame, I was looking at this uh, pennant here and the theoretical targets predicted a 79% upswing uh, to roughly $2. And uh, the last time we discussed the video, I was talking about how XRP should close above the 50 fib here. Uh, at 1.13 and close above that would uh, get a retest. Uh, then I would expect a retest of the supply zone here, probably even the range high. Uh, the supply zone ranges from 1.31 to 1.41. And we did get that, right? Uh, but to reach $2, uh, I was expecting a close above, a daily close above 1.41, but that didn't happen. And right now uh, the move uh, from the breakout has completely been undone and is currently trading at 1.21. <clears throat> so what am I looking at for what I'm expecting for XRP is uh, like Jonathan mentioned, right? Uh, this bear flag, uh, but I would want to refer to this as just a parallel ascending parallel channel. And uh, what I'm expecting right now is a retest of uh, this, the $1 level, psychological level, and based on how that, how XRP reacts uh, off of this level here, uh, I'm expecting it to see some kind of pounds uh, to retest the, the parallel channels uh, lower trend line here around 1.09 uh, but a breakdown of this I'm seeing uh, XRP go around to 0 0.84 and for that I have to open up this chart right so so if we do break uh, so I'm expecting something like this let me just summarize everything here so a bounce to the $1 level and then a retest of 1.09, 1.09 and where it's right now. And after this, I'm expecting it to break this uh, massive 
Tidal channels lower trend line over here and then come down to 0 0.84, which is down here. This is what I'm expecting for XRP. Let me just clear this old squiggly line, which is this. Right? This is my scenario. Let me just. Yeah, uh, breakdown of uh, the parallel channels lower trend line and then a retest of 1.09 followed by consolidation around the 0 0.96 to 1.01 support level. And if you do break the overall, uh, the overall ascending parallel channels upper trend line, then I'm expecting it to retest the 0 0.84 level. So from a short to midterm perspective, I'm expecting XRP to kind of hover around the $1 level. Still not seeing anything bullish for XRP, at least until we kind of form a base. Yeah, so that's that's my take on XRP. All right. Thank you, Akash, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.